What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I want to tell you guys about three exotics you get well pretty easily and should definitely not be ignored. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video, hitting that like button truly helps me and my channel out and I do appreciate the support now more than ever. Now I am well aware many people don't jump into the story straight away upon DLC releases. Many PvP players leave it until last minute. I also know not everyone has jumped in yet and taken a look at the story. Some people are still at the moment in two minds whether or not to even play this DLC. Is it worth it? Has it changed the pile of crap we are used to with Destiny 2? Well on that subject I can only give you guys my opinion and although I think the story is definitely shorter than I expected, I mean there's many great aspects to it, it's just been crammed into a few missions which is crazy. But beyond that the amount of things to do and chase is absolutely ridiculous. I mean I honestly can't remember ever there being a time with this many things to grind for in Destiny and I mean ever people. I will be making a video talking about said changes and what I think about them so expect that soon. And you guys know me, I won't hold back. I say what indeed needs to be said. Okay so onto the point of this video and the specific exotic I speak about tells you the direction so to speak once you're trying to take this game so far away from the game it was when it was first released being that also balanced easy to play boring after a week pile of rubbish which wasn't what any of us wanted coming out of the first game. Okay, so getting into the DLC Warmind story, as short as it is, once you complete it, and I won't tell you anything that happens, you are prompt to go and see Savala within the tower. Waiting for you will be an exotic armour piece. Depending on the character you are, you can only pick up the one that matches your character. Me being a hunter, I got the Worm Horse Crown, which we will come to in a second. Titans got the Worm God Caress, with an intrinsic perk of burning fists, melee kills increase melee damage for a period of time. Additional kills extend duration and increase effects. So this exotic, you are going to be able to punch your way through enemies and enemy teams if you can get close enough. For the warlock you get the Verity's Brow, intrinsic perk is 4th magic. Energy weapon kills boost grenade recharge rate for you and nearby allies. So this could be great depending on the effect rate. And for the hunter, which I absolutely love, is the Worm Husk Crown. Intrinsic perk is Burning Souls. Dodging begins health regeneration. Small bump to health when dodging. Now this is a revolutionary, but only us hunters will understand this. Titans have a wall to hide behind and defend themselves with. Warlocks have a rift to sit in. Hunters have nothing, we literally have nothing. I've asked for ages for a change or an additional add-on to one of the skill trees of the Hunter subclasses which allows us to regen health when dodging. I mean in my opinion it was one of the better case scenarios and I never thought it was actually going to happen. But with the addition of this exotic helmet, it has. And guys, it works great. Already using it to farm certain aspects of this new DLC, it's helped me out so, so much. Them times of being almost down and out and using this to recover health and reload my weapon at the same time is just something I only could have dreamt of in the past with Destiny 2. Now it's here, and to be honest, it clearly goes to show the direction Bungie are taking this game. Something of such would never have been a part of the base game and the direction they wanted this game to go. We bitched, we cried, and Bungie made big changes and still many more are to come. Changes of such to make us more powerful, to keep the pace of the game flowing and to keep us happy. They are here. This is one example of many new additions with Warmind. Me playing PvP, I only used one exotic on my Hunter ever and that was a knockerhead radar in Destiny 1 and Destiny 2. That now has finally been substituted. What is it four years later? I have a new exotic the Worm Horse Crown. And on that note guys, I am out. If you guys enjoyed the video, indeed hit that like button, it truly does help me out. Thanks as always for stopping by people and hopefully I will see you on that next one.